Are we recording? All right, we should we should just constantly roll, no matter yeah. what's going on. Just constantly have it rolling from the minute we get down here. Good. So, we're back again. We're for the fourth time. Hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. Episode fourteen. Catch that on iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube. <laughs> I got this down pretty well. That's right. We're talking about Riot Fest. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, see if we can condense Riot Fest even even further than we already right. have. So Chris, okay. Can I summarize? Do you want to summarize? You you summarize. I'm I'm so fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't so, hit record a bunch of times. Yeah. <laughs> so this is I don't know how much is going to make it through the the editing cycle, but oh. this is our fourth go around. Phil hated Riot Fest with a passion, and because we're having technical issues, he's having to relive it fucking time and time again. <laughs> yes. He's told the story like I think it's a curse. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Really, <laughs> the, the curse I think of Riot, Riot Fest, Fest is telling me <laughs> wait till next year. That's all right. <laughs> You son of a bitch, we're going to have a great fucking lineup next year, and you're not going to want to go. <laughs> That's right. So Phil did not like the lineup. He didn't like the ticket purchasing process. I he, had an ingrown toenail surgery. The day w- of, he went with his fiance and his... Stepkid. S- stepkid? Is that... Yeah. Yeah. Future stepkid? Anyway. It depends if uh, if he survives. <laughs> he keeps being the way he is. That's right. Uh, he might have a skeleton dad and a skeleton son. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, that's what Riot Fest is all about. Skeletons. <laughs> so <laughs> so Phil did not have fun at Riot Fest. I had a blast from start to finish. I had so much fun. It's like a spiritual journey for me, and I cannot wait for next year. I, I got to say I liked Twin Peaks the best, then probably Fear. I don't know. I, like, I, I, I liked Fear a lot because I used to listen to them a lot in high school, and I was like, I cannot believe. I'm like, oh, I know this song. This is probably the only three songs that I know. I don't oh, know. Oh, I know Fear. this. Fear. Um, they're this fucking awesome New York City punk band, and they kind of like, they were kind of an average punk band, but they got huge because uh, John Belushi loved them. Oh, and really? He, and he invited huh. them on SNL, and they were like one of the only bands that got kicked off because they fucking trashed the place. Jesus. And Christ. what's and what's funny is like after Fear, well, I guess if you're friends with John Belushi, I, yeah. <laughs> A- after Fear, um, Black Flag, I think, was the one that was supposed to play, but they wouldn't even fucking let him after how much they trashed the place. Jesus Christ. So, Wait, at Riot Fest or SNL? At SNL. Oh. But you know, fi- the, the Belushis are Wheaton natives? Really? Yeah, actually, uh, uh, Jim Belushi was friends with my uncle growing up. Oh. Yeah. So let's talk to your uncle. Let's get some Hollywood connections. Yeah. Let's do some promoting. Let's Jim Belushi on the show. Maybe it'll start up his career again. Oh, not after that comment. <laughs> <laughs> isn't he deceased? 53 no, John, John is dead. John is. Jim isn't. Okay. But yeah, like it's it's kind of interesting because they used to live, uh, I, I guess you don't really know Wheaton, but they they live fairly close to where I grew up. Does anyone really know Wheaton? You know what I mean? Well, most people who live there are like, that's where their families live since they immigrated to the United States. But do they know Wheaton? too well do they know it with a capital k i mean can can you can you elaborate on what you're trying to get at no just say yes and let's move on okay, i'm sorry yes, people know Wheaton. okay all right i'm sorry and the belushis are from wheaton cool and so are you i am yes so am i so there's two famous i thought you just said wheaton. blue cheese is from wheaton blue cheese also invented in wheaton yes yeah. um but do they know blue cheese man that's capital k yeah dr john blue what? So, I was gonna say I got a I got a pretty fucking awesome announcement. Oh yeah, it's been fucking four five months in the waiting. I don't even know why it was a birthday present. I did <laughs> twenty three and me, and it is pretty fucking awesome. Like the shit they can, like the results the way they did. You're not at all Polish. Yep, I'm 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 actually ninety percent African American. Wow. No, no. Um, ni- no, it came out. I got this ninety percent Polish. Five percent Ashkenazi Jewish. Ooh, Ashkenazi. Put the Nazi in Ashkenazi, right? No, and then uh, five <laughs> percent nope. Jewish. No, no, sorry, bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, ninety percent Polish, ninety percent Gypsy, ninety percent Jewish. Because it's because uh, it's like ancient Romani, so I guess that's pretty much Gypsy, right? Did yeah. you say ninety nine yeah. and nine? Ninety five and five. Got you. Okay. So I mean, if you you know. 92 
and then four and five. So that's yeah. exciting. Are you surprised? So, that also doesn't add up. Well, he's one hundred and one percent man. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, right? No, but anyway, and then it says it has like point five French and German. I don't know. I knew there was something about you I didn't trust. You know, you, you know some of the shit I didn't understand though. It said like here Neanderthal anse- yeah, ancestry. Damn Polish. Mm-hmm. It said uh, fewer Neanderthal variants than 51% of customers. What the fuck is Neanderthal variants? I don't know what that means. Well, there's so, so I'm less of a caveman than most people? I don't that's, what, that's what it sounds like. Because there there's like, the, more recently they f- found out that there's a lot of like mixing. There was a lot of mixing between, um, was it homo, homo erectus? And, and, uh, Whatever the Neanderthals, I don't know what they're like scientific. Just name plain was, Homo. Oh, man, was it Homo erectus? Because we're Homo sapien, right? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll look no, it up. was Homo erectus, Homo sapien, and then I think there was one other one. I forgot what it was though. But you know what the cool shit was? I <laughs> thought that was really cool because it was really fucking ridiculous. Was they have a? T- they, they literally. I don't know why they run. They, it's like scientists who have nothing to fucking do, so they're just running these tests to try and see. Well, let's see. Here, l- let me give you these results. That are. Ridic- I'll, I'll give you all of them. Sixty-five percent more likely to have worked as a lifeguard. What? Yeah. What a with, with weird my genes. statistic. What? Sixty-one percent more likely to feel jittery after drinking caffeine, and then thirty-two percent. More likely to drink espresso drinks. So that's me. I know caffeine's bad for me, but I fucking love it. <laughs> but and then, uh, were you ever a lifeguard? No. Oh, okay. I saved a person from drowning. There you so, go. Yeah, that's right. So, and then uh, no, but let me keep going. Out, like, cause these are these get better and better. Forty nine percent more likely to have worn braces on their teeth. I like that they had to add on their teeth. <laughs> yeah, where uh, well, well, I guess you could have like knee like, braces, leg like braces, yeah. back braces. Thirty nine percent less likely less likely to be a super taster. What the fuck does that mean? I feel yeah, like they the f- made that up. Yeah, what the fuck? I mean I mean Super Taster. I'm pretty sure I love eating lame pussy. Superpower. There you go. Thirty eight percent less likely to be a vegetarian. Thirty five percent less likely to have lived near a farm when they were young. <laughs> <laughs> uh thirty one percent more likely to drink instant coffee. What? Okay, d- no, there's no way they have stats for this yeah, kind yeah, of shit. What the, the no way your yeah. genes don't fucking dictate that I, shit. Maybe they do. All I, I call, can, I all call I can say is all I can say is tribalism, man. We're moving more and more towards tribalism because of all the you drink instant coffee? Fuck you. Only only we only lack instant coffee drinkers in this here. I bet you Pop. grew up near a farm. Folgers is 100% Colombian coffee beans. I heard somewhere 30 percent more likely to have red body or facial hair hmm. uh thir- 29 percent less likely to drink energy drinks 29 percent more likely to have a run a marathon 29 percent to have sweaty palms uh, i i will say this does kind of make me want to want to get 23 right. me just to see all the bullshit statistics right. they try and throw at me 27 percent less likely to sweat while sleeping uh I'm and I'm 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 halfway done. Sorry. No, it's all. But good. it's just funny. Um, We're learning a lot about you. Twenty six <laughs> yeah. less likely to be able to wiggle their ears, and I was pretty upset about that. Well, I can do that. You can. Uh huh. <laughs> Did you ever see Jeff Goldblum do it? That video. No, I I have not, but I, I can imagine that's something uh, something worth watching. I I forgot what video it was. He's he's like in some m- m- movie about like. You know that typical like dangerous minds like white savior in a gang neighborhood. You know? Oh, of course, yeah. So he's just like, yeah, yeah. I, I, it was a really awkward f- conversation. He's like, yeah, you know what? You know what I can do? Sometimes I go left, and then he wiggles his left. Sometimes I go right, and sometimes it's good to just be balanced. And he does both. <laughs> it's like a zoom in on his face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's I can powerful. do the individual <laughs> one. Just like do one. Is. <laughs> yeah. Practice. I think I got it. Twenty five percent less likely to drink caffeinated soda. Twenty percent less likely to think that fresh cilantro. <laughs> Where are they getting no, this wait, shit? What is the cilantro one? Twenty yeah. percent less likely to think that fresh cilantro tastes like soap. Okay, <laughs> no, there's no fucking way that they have these stats. Twenty percent less likely to be able to do forward splits. Uh, nineteen percent less likely to have hair that becomes frizzy in humid weather. 
uh, less likely to have sweaty feet, 17% less likely to wiggle their nose, and it's getting dark here. Uh, 16% more likely to make New Year's resolutions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to see their study groups for this shit. There's uh, who, and then and then uh, 12% less likely to be able to carry a tune. 12% less likely to be able to do a cartwheel. So yeah, I don't know. That Which, is a bunch of horseshit. I, the, honestly, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even trying to be funny. The biggest fucking bummer is that I'm not gonna be able to do a c- cartwheel. But, but no, 12% less likely means I can, right? I don't know. 12% less likely than who? The average? Is that what? Yeah, I guess. The the elite Neanderthals. That's oh, right. Come, come, yeah. uh, the Aryans? Is that, is that what it's based That's on? That's right. Of? It's all eugenics, man. There's some Sounds people that think... very eugenics-y. Right. Well, yeah. Oh, and the one thing that it said, um, it's it, it takes like... Um, you know, like, who are you? I, and here's the other thing. How do you fucking judge who's famous or known? Because it said, that, like, the one person that you're the most, like, 70% related to is King Richard the Third, of somewhere. I, I don't, I don't cool. even. Yeah. <laughs> Great. You know. Nice. Put it on the resume. Yep. I want to know these. Like, I want to. I feel like they they have one guy there who just makes these up as, like, that's It's that's like a horoscope. Job. Yeah. Dude, that would be a fucking great job, right? Just be like, tell him, tell him he's more likely to be a lifeguard. 90% more likely to do double vaginal, double anal, right? That's right. I'd, I would f- totally fuck with that whole statistics thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it seems easy to do. 90% more likely to light their cigarette with, in a yoga pose with your, you know, foot around your the back of your neck. No, no, no. That's, kinda, a, that's like, science. Like, that's, like a, a, that's scientific data. Kind of uh, like a yoga Andrew Dice Clay, you know, mm. the way you light your cigarette. A hundred percent more likely to recommend twenty three and me to all of your friends and family. All right. So I don't know. Have I convinced you guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually. Yeah, I'm fifteen percent less likely to do it now. Because 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 <laughs> you know it's kind of a coupon if I get some referrals. Is that yeah? I'm do they saying? give you? What they give you better results. Yeah, or, or <laughs> more bullshit statistics. Well, we, well yeah, yeah, yeah. Can the, you, the, the can next, you pay for that? The yeah. next level is my medical defects. You know? <laughs> like, I don't want to know that shit. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not know that shit. Unless but, it's a bunch of like weird bullshit again. Be like the fifteen percent more likely to have a leg chopped off in an accident. Yeah, I don't know. But um, yeah. So so nobody wants to do twenty three me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually, funny you mentioned that because this week's sponsor is in fact Twenty Three and Me. <laughs> so, have you, have you guys heard about um? Uh, I I, I hate to over talk it because everyone talks about it, but Riot Fest. No, no. Uh, Trump's a dick, and how it look? Have you heard about this with Stormy uh, Daniels? No. How fuck? She said that. I heard vaguely. What about is it? This. She, I guess she put out a book. I, did? I, I didn't even know who Stormy Daniels is. Do you guys know? No. She's a porn star, I guess, right? Yeah. And she released some book that says that Trump's dick looks like Toad from Mario Kart. And to me, the way I interpret it is... It's kind of endearing. It humanizes him a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say... That's like the fucking kid, like, if you're... Ra- her Princess Peach, is that... Yeah, right. Uh, well, what I was going to say, my, what my, my argument is, is that, like... That's probably the best character that I would want my dick to look like. Yeah, so that's he, almost, has, he definitely looks the most like a penis. Yeah, right? I mean, w- would you want like a fucking Wario with a purple tip and like Ziggy hairs from the sides or Yoshi with a fucking thing that sticks out his tongue, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know why people are going nuts. Maybe the Goomba. Kurt, you could do a Goomba. Yeah. Or uh, what was that? I'm trying to think. Shy of, guy. Yeah, shy, shy guy, right? <laughs> So wait, fucking she, skeleton dick. <laughs> <laughs> she published a book about Donald Trump's penis. It's I, like I guess a, it's about her, right? Supposedly, it's like so, it's. I don't know exactly. It sounds to me more like kind of like a tell-all, trying to capitalize on the moment that she has. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just uh, there's so many there's so many <laughs> of these the books <laughs> written about him that that all say the same thing. He's a narcissistic asshole, yeah. and it's just like all right, like we all know. Who yeah. cares? I, I, I heard there's a book that has uh, just Donald Trump poetry, which I think would be fucking Oh, my hilarious. God. Is that real? I, I, I don't know if it's real, but I saw the cover. 
I would love to. I would love right. to read that. Right. Let me. What if it's good? Yeah. What? If, <laughs> that might actually. That might would that fuck change with my whole world yeah. view? What if he's just got a very deep you know, emotional base? He's gifted with the written word. Would that redeem him in your Isaac? We're about to find out. You know. You know. Another thing that I heard um, that's kind of like current news that I thought was really pretty fucking good is that uh oh my god look at the cover of this book what is it what what's the exact yeah. name yeah what is the title of the book describe the cover who publishes I almost it just showed it to you bill i'm <laughs> yeah. sorry <laughs> it's it, it's trump laying it's, sideways like a model with his hand like on his leg and it looks ooh. like yes it's the beautiful poetry of donald trump is that what it's called yeah that is what it's called all right who wrote it um it is hold on let me get the details on it <laughs> Haikus were too advanced okay, so for this me, man. Let me give the description. What if there's a hidden dimension to Donald Trump? <laughs> a sensitive poetic side. Did you write this? Because <laughs> a hidden dimension. This, so, yeah, this sounds awful familiar. <laughs> right, that hidden dimension hmm. sounds like right when that toad's coming out of that uncircumcised r- uh, fucking I chode. <laughs> I finished the description. Driven by this question, Rob Sears, Rob Sears wrote it, I guess. <laughs> began combing Trump's words for signs of poetry. What he found was a revelation by simply taking the 45th president of the United States tweets and transcripts, cutting them up and reordering them, Sears unearthed a trove of beautiful verse that was just waiting to be discovered. Oh my God. This groundbreaking collection will give readers a glimpse of Trump's innermost thoughts and feelings on everything from the nature of truth to what he hates about Lord Sugar. i'm just reading what it says (laughs) and it will reveal the hitherto hidden donald who may surprise and delight both students and critics alike this timely publication also includes sears's scholarly footnotes and introduction in which he excavates new critical angles and insights into the president's poetry which the casual reader might initially overlook review Uh, okay (laughs) the f- five stars oh my god i am highly i i'm very highly educated i know words i know the best words <laughs> donald trump campaign rally december 30th 2015 <laughs> that's, no, that's a triumph why are you guys laughing that's beautiful that's beautiful i'm highly educated i, w- I actually, you know the best words how much is I'm this gonna, book i might actually buy this book i'm, right I'm now. gonna i'm gonna write a song with those that poetry I'm going to wait for the Audible you know, version. I was going to say, Bill, you know what's going to be great about the Audible version is if he actually takes these splices from these speeches and splices them up into the Audible version. Oh, yeah, yeah has, has right. Donald Trump... Uh, I'm, on edu- I'm educated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, oh, my God, that'd be amazing. Right? Random screams and then lows. and the, like That'll actually sound pretty fucking artsy-fartsy. <laughs> like some spoken word beatnik shit, you know? I... I'm gonna use a monthly credit to get it when it comes out. You know, you know, I um another thing I listened to recently. Well, it wasn't recent, but I recently listened to a podcast where they had. Do you guys remember where that guy was kidnapped with, by a uh, Somalian pirates? Like yeah, a bu- yeah, bunch of years yeah. Ago? And then um I think I don't know. So uh, I was listening to this whole thing, like his whole experience and how he was there for a long time and how like he couldn't communicate. And the the way he explained it, I, I, have you guys ever like uh, listened Fear to the story? Right, sure. Thank you. Sorry for interrupting. Thank you. Uh, no, I'm pissed off now. No, I'm pissed off. <laughs> no, but uh, have you um um have you have you heard the full story like in his words or anything or an interview? No, I know anybody. No. I haven't heard anything in like an interview form. I know the story though. Well, the the way he explained it, it kind of reminded me of like a documentary I watch, like Russian Mafia, where you don't really have a choice. Like like those Somalian pirates, you don't really have. That's kind of like a job. So what they did. Where, where I forgot where they're from, but basically what they said is that Somalia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's like a group of random islands who that are just like people don't want to touch. It's not. It's not just Somalia. So it's it's from all over. Where where they have random people who are in charge, and they basically like they offer the the, the job as a as being a pirate as the highest paying. So you sort of like. If you grow up there and you're like, yeah, these pirates are fucking assholes. They kidnap people, they torture them, and they they pretty much blackmail people with you know famous people for money. Yeah, well, 
rather than that's living the, in that's the life on the high r- seas. R- yeah, though. yeah. Rather than living like malnutritioned in shit, and you know, you probably don't own a pair of shoes. It's like I can be a pirate, join the union, you know. And so, all, so a lot of these people, they're the pirates are actually like nice people. They're just kind of like I'm doing my job. So th- this whole interview, he's talking about how. While he was kidnapped, because I forgot what the period was. Maybe I think it was like at least two years. Yeah, I I, I remember hearing about that. I think it was like two or three years, something yeah. something like a, d- a pretty long time. So so Hollywood rushed to it, and they wanted to make a movie about him, kind of like almost like Castaway esque. And they make this with, mo- the, with the starring Tom Hanks. I'd I, watch that. I don't know, man. <laughs> no, but and, and, and starring Wilson. No, but and, and he, <laughs> no, but so they made this movie, and the funny thing was that at the end of the movie, um, all the pirates get killed, and it's you know happy ending, and so there. So the, the funny thing was that the mm. the Somalian pirates were watching this movie with him while they're like, and they're like, <laughs> they're like, no, we can't watch the ending. We can't watch the ending. That's the bad part, because 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 they don't want it to yeah. be like, no, that's not. We're not gonna get killed. So it was, was like a Navy SEALs like. Kill squad goes in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And mur- sh- essentially, after your description, murders just people trying to get by. Yeah, I, I I just think it was funny that they're they're like you know we're gonna watch this movie about that's supposed to be me <laughs> that's supposed to be you wait a minute no 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 this is where we stop it that you don't we're not gonna spoil the ending for you you know <laughs> which is sort of it, it reminded me sort of like w- when I went on that tour with the mob guy in Chicago about casino. Because he was saying the same thing where he went he went to the theaters to see Casino. He's like, wait, why the fuck do they have Rob De Niro playing you? And I'm just some random fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, I should have a bigger role in this. So wait, how did the story really end? Was it just like the movie? I think, I, I don't remember. I think they negotiated it somehow where there's, there's some fucking huge price because he was like a well-known journalist it was like something ridiculous like six million dollars and they had to keep cutting it down and finally cut it down to like a hundred thousand and how does that feel to be that dude where we're like because there has to be like a bizarre sense of pride for a minute there'd be like six million like they think they can get six million out of me i'm, I'm worth that much <laughs> and then over the years just having it whittled down <laughs> 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 I'm not worth that much. (laughs) It's your fault I got out of shape. I'm worthless. A mere hundred thousand dollars from six million. That's I mean, how the mighty have fallen. It's your guys' fault I got out of shape with these fucking (laughs) Somalian beans and rice every day. Now I'm worth nothing. But it all worked out. It all worked out for us and the pirates. Yeah, it sounds like not the sounds like the pirates. It didn't work out for. Yeah, at least in the movie. Although I guess if he, I guess it didn't actually happen if he was watching the movie with the right. pirates. Well, now they get the royalty yeah. checks from the movies. Do, maybe. <laughs> Do they? Pro- no, probably not. Um, That'd be a weird way to legitimize their careers, right? They were those pirates. They're gonna buy every DVD of that movie. And we're holding these fucking hostage unless we get six million dollars. <laughs> and you change the ending. All right, we'll cut it down, but you still got to change the ending. Speaking of like that, you, you're talking about like, like that poetry book and Donald Trump. Ch- I mean, okay, no, this remind this this ties into like when we were talking about like Louis C.K. Oh. I mean, oh, okay, no, because everybody fucking hates these people. Who I, Trump and C- Louis and and I don't. I'm it, saying like I think a lot of it is fueled by what what media puts out. Like you don't know who these people are. And and I sort of feel like their get, actions kind of describe at least a little bit of, enough of who they are. Well, I mean, I think. what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, you know, okay, so you take for example, like I'm not I'm not going to get into this again, but like like Louis C.K. He's a he's a he's a family guy. He's raising his kids. He's making good money. He's probably a really good father. All these things that we don't know. Yeah, how is he probably a really good father? Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I'm saying that we don't know. Donald these. Trump Jr. seemed to turn out pretty well. I, I'm, I'm saying these are things that we don't know, and we judge a person by this one fucking event, and that's what like media yeah, but turns fucking one fucking event, man. He's what? The, the, he's been, he's the president of the United States. Oh yeah, yeah, but I mean, I, I guess I, I, I still don't know. Like, I, 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 I guess maybe it's selfish of me. I, it hasn't affected me at all. 
so I don't really like, you know. Let me let me put it to you. I, I'm I'm saying I bet you if you guys were put in that same pedestal, you, you would be fucking hated. Oh yeah, just because sure of one would. one little you know pinprick they'd find on your investigation wall. They do this you know? to every politician, but every politician doesn't have this much shit on them. Like Bill Clinton was kind of a piece of shit, but like, yeah, not to this scale. Sure, I mean JFK too. Like people yeah, love J- JFK. Every every he politician was, was a piece of shit. Yeah, JFK, there's some dark shit in JFK's past. The oh, Kennedys yeah. have some real skeletons in the closet. Oh yeah, well literal. I mean that. Sure. I mean that they. I mean, there's even like, I I really don't care about politics at all. But there's even shit that they say where like a lot of the stuff that, I I read something where like thirty percent of the shit that they hated Trump for from the beginning was stuff that was passed over from Obama. Like 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 the start of going into the Middle East and for this oil war, like prolonging from Iraq. Is is like half of it is because of Obama just kind of being like, all right, yeah, just keep going. I'm not going to talk about this. Just keep doing whatever you guys do. But oh, this isn't a defe- this isn't a defense of other politicians, but the man says horrible things and has done horrible things this past. I mean, like he's are arguably not. He's not a very redeemable. Wait, did you say character. this is not in defense? Yeah, not mm-hmm. in de- not necessarily in defense of like other politicians. Like I'm sure Barack Obama did his fair share of sure. shitty things. Yeah, you? but on it, in general, he's not getting up on stage and just blatantly talking shit. Sure. I just thought it was funny. They're like, I'm not trying to defend the guy, but he is a really shitty person. Does really shitty things. And it's like, no. of course you're not defending him. So he's no, a no, no, sorry, I'm, no, I'm he's not defending he's... like I'm not right. defending like oh, like Barack Obama on this no, one. I know that I, now, yeah. but. Like initially, I was. Confused. I'm not defending him, but he's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying he's a prick? You no, know, he's saying I'm not defending him. He's a prick. I don't, prick. Know, if, I don't know if he's personally like a prick. But no, no, like no. A, I, 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 the way I, I took it was he's a prick, like but he's not a super duper prick. That's you know. Well, is he a prick, Sandra, or is he a super duper prick? They're, I don't know. According to Stormy Daniels book, <laughs> right? Well, how's his poetry? Oh, that's just that, that, that reminds me of how like gu- the Guar and Kathy Griffin thing. How like fucking, how, how Guar was like fuck Kathy Griffin because we've been cutting fucking presidents' heads off for the past like twenty fucking years and we're proud of it, <laughs> you know. Well, they're from a different planet. You have yeah, to keep in mind. Is, so they're yeah. they have different customs. Yeah, different, they don't know. Yeah, we're supposed to have respect here. You know. That's right. So kind of going off the political thing, I'm in a book club and it was my turn to pick the book, yeah. and. The way we do it is whoever's turn it is picks four options and then everyone in the club. Are you votes picking on the poetry it. book? No. <laughs> so we wound up going with William Faulkner. But the initial four books yeah. I selected were A Bold Fresh Piece of Humanity, uh, Culture Warrior, The O'Reilly Factor, and Oh, we're straying the, away from the oh politics, my huh? God. That, that would, that, had, that, that, had, that would be a really interesting read, like to just sit and analyze. I thought so. The four books I selected were all written and narrated on Audible by Bill O'Reilly, and I, I was gonna uh, side side note, not to interrupt. Side note, see, like in this situation, comparing Trump to O'Reilly, like Trump just seems like a rich fucking guy who doesn't not not defending him, but he just seems like a rich guy who doesn't know any better. O'Reilly totally seems like a piece of shit like i would i would want fungus to grow on my shit a- after i fucking shed on his face like he seems like such a piece of crap i don't know i always thought that bill o'reilly like try it essentially just got too into a character he played yeah it's kind of what like my feelings about like thoughts about him is like he played this character for fox news and then all of a sudden it just like consumed him he he seems like, like an he seems Smeagol like in the ring <laughs> yeah, sort of yeah <laughs> he seems like an Archie Bunker who d- who just wasn't funny to me oh he was not funny no so I presented these four options and I it's a book club of four there are four or five of us and I just realized I'm sorry do you like Bill O'Reilly but I don't I don't know him oh okay like I don't know a- after I said he's the he, you want to shit on his face and it to grow in fungus then, <laughs> he's my uncle <laughs> why would you say that. I was named after him. No, so I presented these four options. We're all left-leaning in the book club, and I thought it'd be fun to try something that none of us would have read on our own. And yeah. It would, if nothing else, be entertaining and funny to discuss. Mm-hmm. And when I made the announcement that those were the four options, there was like so much hatred in the yeah. air 
and well, he's just narrating. Well, them. actually, well, he wrote them too. Oh, he wrote all of yeah. them. Yeah, are they are they all nonfiction? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know anything about the books. Oh god, I would love to read a book by him that was like a fiction book that like well, writes some steamy romance yeah, right, novel. Right. Like, well, if they're like memoirs, I'm sure there's some steamy romance in it. The New Testament of Scientology. <laughs> That's right. So With Bill O'Reilly, Ron Hubbard. One of one of the members a, came back to the chat like a week later, and he says, "Guys, listen." I know this was all a joke, and I know you're having a bet to see who was going to fold first, but I can't do it. I just find him so morally repugnant, I can't read him. So I'm just going to sit that this book out. You guys sounds, have fun. That sounds you know like how many a huge authors pussy. are just like pieces of like so morally yeah. repugnant? Right. So we that just that sounds like a pussy, and and that that's why I love you, Bill, because at least I love both you guys because at least oh, I you love can, you too, dude. You can open to both sides you know like that's why you got to fucking read shit like Mein Kampf to realize like what a piece of trash it is and not to repeat those mistakes well, I just you know? thought it'd be funny so oh oh the O'Reilly oh yeah. yeah I think that's hilarious they <laughs> have they have on audible a book called The O'Reilly Factor for kids <laughs> and, uh, and oh my god so the way my did story did you listen to any of it no so oh, god. the way my story ends is Someone backs up because he's more morally repugnant, and I could have gone in and be like, "Dude, we've read like Hunter S. Thompson, we've read like William Lindsey Gresham." Oh, what's like, wrong with Hunter S. Thompson? He only used to take pot shots at his neighbor when he lived in Nevada. Yeah. So it's like, like, oh, I didn't know we had such high moral standards. Yeah. But anyway, so do as much drugs as possible all the fucking time, right? Because I'm afraid to know my real self. Yeah. yeah. Right. Or we've read Hemingway. Yeah, Hemingway was kind of a piece of shit too. Yeah. Have, so have you, you know, read any you know, uh, Fitzgerald? He was kind of a really. Yeah, he's kind of a shitty person. I just too. finished The Great Gatsby. Oh, really? I, I love it. it. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I man. love his writing. Spoiler but, like, alert! As a, I'm, I'm as in the middle individual. of it. I'm in the middle of it, and then somebody told me that they, <laughs> I completely forgot they made a movie. I'm like, oh, fuck. I, I don't have time for reading so this. <laughs> the, the book oh, is. Oh my god! The book is very very good, and the movie. The. The book is short. Leonardo. No, no it's J- it was Jay Z who, uh, because Jay Z got involved in it, and so all of the music is like, it's, it's like, non-period, and it like bugs the shit. It yeah. ruins the movie because like, like all of a sudden they're like in twenties New York or whatever, and fucking it's like modern hip hop playing, and it just yeah. ruins the whole feel of the movie because it's yeah, really I, well, I can see like that. the filming is like really well done. But it just uh, it's really hard to get into. It it takes you out of that reality. Mm-hmm. But you should definitely read the book. Yeah, the book's yeah. great. I'm in, I'm in the middle of it. I, I I read it like on my break at work. Yeah. But too many people want to bullshit and they're not very educated. Oh yeah, I'm I'm Phil. I'm gonna read a book. I'm like yeah. Do I they make am. fun of you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at little reader boy. Do they sound like that? <laughs> yeah. I feel like their you know, so, their insults are so, less clever so, than that though. <laughs> Side funny note, because you were saying like you want to read something just because for the fuck of it. Yeah. W- the first book, this was like three years ago when I wanted to try and get back into reading. I was like the first things I have to read, because because this is I, I was trying to test my will like to see how fucking strong I am, because I I just really, it's hard for me to find time to read. You know, there's just too many books. There's too so. Anyways, I I went to Goodwill. I'm like I'm gonna pick the two most like the most copies of books because they're probably the biggest pieces of shit and read those. Wait, what do you mean? The one that they had the most of? Yeah, yeah. And they ended up being... So many people gave them away. Yeah. Dennis Rodman's... Yeah, Dennis Rodman's... Uh, what, Born to be Bad or whatever? Oh my God. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To- it's a, it's a, well, I was about to say it's the one with him naked on the cover, yeah, but that's basketball. every fucking one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and and then the second one was uh, Don't don't Stand Too Close to a Naked Man. Tim Allen. Tim Allen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, yeah. I actually like that. I, I love say, Tim I Allen. Feel, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I feel like Tim Allen could write a me- like a good book. Have you seen his mugshot? <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. I have. Dude, but it was he a looks, coke mule. What was that in the seventies? Oh yeah, he yeah. looks badass, man. I, I I don't know. I I I've always loved Tim Allen. I don't get oh. it. right, man. Oh. Home Improvement I, was like my favorite nineties show. Yeah, say I have a, I have a, a lot of respect for Tim Allen. Is it because he loves Michigan? <laughs> yeah. Not just that. <laughs> that and <laughs> that and other uh, amongst other things. So. The member of my book club boycotted the book, and I'd rather have everyone involved. Are you kicked out? No, dude. I, <laughs> I'm just fucking disappointed in them. It's like, come on. It could have been fun, but I, was, I think it just- 
Know your enemy, Rage Against Machine. Have they read the Bible? Well, I think it's either one of two things. Either they were afraid people would see them reading a Bill O'Reilly book, or they were afraid that they might actually enjoy it. Actually, you know, because you brought up the Bible, you know it's fucking insane. The Bible. It is, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, 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 but no, no, but but it brought it, to, it, it brought me to a different fucking level. That so it's uh, supposed to do that. That's I, the whole point. <laughs> yeah, man, it was a oh, life changing experience. No, but well, what I couldn't believe is like so. I, I mentioned before, but for anybody who didn't know, that I made that collage of of murderers that's right behind me, painted in cow's blood. No, but no, so so I, I okay, I had this book with it was uh it was like as thick as a fucking uh, yellow and white pages book of all like the possible found in history since newspapers were published murders ever and there i I was like all right well i want to try and do collages because i was never like a painter or you know that type of artist so i i i I put a bunch of collages of like different murders like this was going to be all occult murders and this was going to be all like lady killers as in like women who went crazy and murdered their husbands so i made one where it was all rapes and then I, I I put a notebook paper and I painted in blood the rape qu- the rape quote from the Bible, and what's fucking crazy is that it's Gavin. I'm like uh, I I was having a debate about this with one of my workers. He's like, no, "What do you would you say that there's rape in the Bible and they think it's okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it is." And I'm like, "Gavin, give me a Bible because I got to bring it to work tomorrow," and he has one that's. Bible for kids, and the fucking rape verse is still in there. Wait, what is the rape verse? It's it's right here behind it's, me. It's actually, unfortunately, there's not just one. There's several. It's 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 a Deuteronomy, and it says something like, if if one is to uh, take over a woman, perhaps by rape or something, you are in enti- you are uh, you must mandatorily pay the uh, father of the woman a certain amount of shekels and she is you She's own not her your wife yeah you own her now yeah and that's a, it's said like several times throughout the old testament hmm so for all our christians out there you got to you, you got to save up your money now and, okay. and yeah. muslims i mean yeah. it's yeah. A, yeah, yeah. The, the old testament is used in all three of those books i'm just saying you rapists better have some money okay so wait so the bible for kids yeah the bible for, yeah yeah kept it in there huh I can't, I, and it was, and it was exactly the same quote but as like Bill an adult. But Bill O'Reilly book. is morally repugnant. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> that is disappointing. Like is that is it? really disappointing because it, how do you, how do you have an opinion on these people without ever actually knowing their perspective? Like, uh, like that's bullshit to me. Like, it, the, the, it reminds me so much of, you know, I hear a lot of leftists, you know, uh, rail on this idea that these conservatives don't even know what socialism is, you know, because they've never actually looked into the definition of socialism. It's the same shit, right? Right. Like, you don't know what it is, so uh, but you're going to bitch about it being morally repugnant when you don't even know what it is? Yeah. I don't like that at I all. Think, I think, um like, and, and when people... <sighs> The way this is going to translate is me being just some fucking meathead, like right guy, and and I I I'm completely in the middle. But let's hear it. When you know that whole, all right, well, get out, get out of our country if you don't yeah, like it. If you don't like but, it, but the truth is, like, if if you really like socialism or communism, then really, like, dude, we live in the freest, the the most like like U.S. Uh, is freedom. You are free. To go take go take a three year vacation to somewhere where there is socialism, where there is communism. Check it out, and and if you like it there, then stay there. Like, no, but we, I'm not saying get out. I'm just saying like if it works for you, which well, it's been proven that it really doesn't. It's really then, well, socialism works quite well, and there's a lot of con- there's a lot of modern countries that use versions of socialism that work really well. The problem is, it's really hard to immigrate to socialist nations I, the, for the, the, that specific reason because it works well only with a certain population and the united states has tons of socialist policies yeah that's the one thing that kills me about people is talking at rail you know railing on this whole idea of socialism when you know one of the best things that that i ever heard is a, was a conversation in i won't say exactly where in central illinois um with a farmer 
talking about how I want to know where. Who are you talking to? Yeah, how much he Where did they get their uh, information? Oh, no, I've, who knows where did they got their information. Did they cite their sources? I, what was they their did re- not cite their sources. They were uh, oh. railing on, on uh, <laughs> Barack Obama for being a socialist mm-hmm. while he was collecting unemployment. Mm-hmm. And it was like said in there because because I my father was talking to him and my father is uh, pretty notorious for liking pointing that sort of thing out. He goes, well, what you know, where do you work? He goes, well, I'm collecting unemployment right now. He's like, and you don't and you're you don't like socialism, huh? You know, I the only thing that stuck out for me probably because. I have epilepsy, and and that's like one of the strongest issues that I would even give a fuck about. That would affect is like healthcare. I heard it sucks in those systems, like in, in, in like a place. There's like, a I, lot of waiting from what I yeah at least yeah. For, at least I've heard that about it's, Canada. It's like I don't a, know if that's I don't know what it's like in other socialist countries. I I heard it was like uh, in Norway. It's like a three year wait, and that and that be that like the hospitals are fucking shit. Like, I would I would like to see a three year wait seems unrealistic to me. Yeah, I'd, I'd I've heard know. I've That's heard like I've waiting heard. room times and are like really long in socialist countries, but I've never I've never heard. Anything well, I'm not like going to tell you my sources. A doctor, I'm not going to tell you my sources oh. and what and what and how they stand politically and what race they are either. Although I, okay. <laughs> although I will say even even here in the United States, though, for specialists like my doctor is at Rush. Because, yeah, uh, you know, uh, for my same, neurologist. Same yeah. here. Is it Bermeo? It's not. No. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Rossi. <gasps> okay. You yeah. see Dr. Rossi? I do see Dr. Rossi. Do you know who Dr. Rossi is? Actually, I know, I know uh, that name. I remember seeing it on the elevator when I was. He's a great doctor. Yeah. I, I, is he better than Bermeo? I don't know. I've never had Bermeo. Bermeo is huh? a cunt. But, or we're not supposed to use... <laughs> she's... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, um, but regardless, like, the man, the man is a well-known specialist, and it can be months sometimes before i can set up an appointment with them even here yeah you yeah know? i mean it's yeah. just like there's so few people who have such specialty in certain things that there's always going to be a waiting time in specific you know medicine mm-hmm. i see a retina specialist and a cornea specialist and i make the appointment a year in advance yeah so when i'm in to see them on 2018 i just say like all right 2019 what do you have open this week because you can't just like in emergencies they can squeeze you in but then if it's not really an emergency, they make you feel really bad. And I learned that the hard way. Yeah. So, yeah. And it really fucking su- Like, that's bullshit because, like, when I had state insurance, <laughs> I mean, you know what people with state insurance do? Oh, I got a paper cut, but it's going to take, like, five months to set an appointment with my doctor. Emergency room because it's free. That's literally what would happen. Well, it's not free. It, no, it, say. it 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 is. It's like someone's paying for it. Yeah, someone's yeah, paying yeah, for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, but. I, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm saying it's like bullshit that it's that way. Like like I had strep throat and. Well, I would. One could argue that the single payer system, where the where it just comes out of your taxes and pays for it, would actually be the way to go. Mm-hmm. Would you argue that? I I would. All I right. I would actually argue that, but um. I'm going to use the restroom real quick, gents. All Should right. we take a break? Yeah, or? let's take a breather. Yeah, okay. The same will go pee, and we'll sit here and talk shit about him. Okay. So. Uh, well, then you should leave the mics on. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no. It's no, okay. we'll take a break. It'll be good. Were we recording this time, Phil? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> For the fifth time, you got to stay. <laughs> uh, episode 14. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Fucked up, dude. Sound check. <laughs> bill, 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 bill. Quadruple sound check. Right. Yeah, is it, is it yeah. working? Are we are we running? We're, we are. Rolling. All right. All right. And yeah. welcome back to episode fourteen of Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. I am, as always, your co-host and best friend, Bill Schmidt. To my right is our frequent guest and beloved comrade, Zach Sandry. To his right is Phil. Just Phil. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Beloved comrade, huh? Is, is, that, nice? is this because I was defending socialism earlier? That's exactly right. Yeah, what the fuck? Why? Are you upset about... I'm supposed to be the comrade. Uh, I'm the Slav. No, but... Uh, yeah, you're 90... <laughs> what, 95%? Yeah, 95%. And or then, 100% Slav. Yeah, 90... Yeah, I guess... Uh, yeah, well, 95 no, of that I don't is. know. Ju- Jewish isn't Slavic. Oh, no, you're right. But Gypsy. 
Gypsy, gypsy is, yeah. yeah. So a Romani. So the way I look at like five percent Jewish, five percent Gypsy, ninety percent Polish. So the way I look at it is I don't know whether to steal or be good with my money, but most of the time I'm just done with it. That's yeah. Is that, is that a Polish thing? Yeah. Are Polish people good with money? No. Or is that no. the Jewish thing? The the Jewish thing good with money, and oh. then the, but I'm done with it because I am Polish. But thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> You're also <laughs> I, I don't fucking know. No. But you'd make a great lifeguard regardless. Yeah. yeah it's no, you know you know the funny thing is like oh, when I looked up um because I, I I don't know I I like like self deprecating so I tried looking up like, you know like, racist Polish jokes <laughs> online you know, <laughs> and and the funny thing is because I, I really wanted to know like where did the whole dumb thing come from. And I, I really didn't know. And, and and what was funny is like when you look at other, um, I feel like every race has or yeah. like nationality has some sort of like yeah, they're well, dumb associated with yeah. it. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of balance and dumbness in everybody. But but the funny thing was that like any other race that like doesn't have a lot of racist jokes had the same jokes. Yeah, you know, it'd be like you could just mix and match. Yeah. Why wasn't Jesus born in Poland? Why wasn't Jesus born in the Ukraine? Why yeah. wasn't Jesus born? Actually, why are all these Slavic nations that you're talking about, Bill? Uh, you got a problem with them? No, I'm just so I learned this fact when <sighs> my roommate you changed, man. You fucking hate. Them. I hate everyone, Those. especially you. No, so I have a friend and roommate, or former roommate rather, who's Hungarian. So I was looking. Oh, what happened to him, Ronnie? That was. It? We, no. we got no Slavs in here. That's right. I kicked him out. You know how you make a Hungarian battleship sink? How? You put it in water. You know <laughs> that that joke. I heard that same joke with yeah. Polish, B- Polish and, and Greek. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I I've definitely heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Same, with the, same with the shooting squad. Did you hear about that? Oh, no. That sounds fun. That yeah. it was like, uh, why did uh, why did like Poland get uh, taken over by Germany? Because when the... It was like when they had a when they held a German officer hostage, they shot him in a circle, so they just shot themselves or something. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not as cute as the <laughs> battleship in water. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's battleships not. are cute. I think it's the gun. Actually, I have a huge fucking dilemma, and and I'm not even joking about this. So because I'm a a uh, little bitch about historical accuracy. <laughs> I was going to be. That's one thing I know about you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're all very <laughs> yeah. anal about it. All right. You guys ruined it. Accuracy. You guys ruined it. No, but uh, I was going to be uh, Zombie Jesus for Halloween. Mm. Oh. But. Um, and you know, it's historically inaccurate? Well, it's historically inaccurate that he's blonde hair and blue eyed. So do I have to go in blackface? Ooh. Okay, a don't question. do that. <laughs> right. I mean, the, uh, the answer to that is unequivocally. Would I rather be? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because because it's gonna be like you know, historically accurate and very offensive. Well, if it's a, if it's well, historically <laughs> accurate, then people will be carrying around your corpse because. Right. And if it was historically accurate for blackface, you would sing songs and dance. Oh. Uh, mm. So the answer is yes. It's a yeah. Okay. As in, like, you guys are going to carry me around and I can sing songs and dance. That's right. The okay. Black Jesus Minstrel Show. Cool, man. I think man. that that... Okay. Bill, awesome. uh, Bill, do you have a lawn jockey in your front yard? I don't know what that is. I don't feel like explaining. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm yeah, going to go ahead and say no. <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> no, but... um. So um, recently I've been, like, really planning for our wedding next year, you know? Um, mm-hmm. And uh, it was a pretty pretty interesting conversation with me and kelly because uh you know both of us are really at balance with each other so we kind of be well, we, every conversation every conversation with me and kelly we're like yin and yang and it's like well i kind of want to do this but if it's okay with you like every fucking so we're very indecisive so i just i was i don't know if i had a a beer or something i was just like or like impatient i'm like all right here's what i'd like to do and the way I explained it was, um, I want everyone to buy their suits from a thrift store. So it's kind of like the American wedding video of Gogo Bordello, where everyone's throwing cake at each other and <laughs> just ruining their fucking attire. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she almost looked like she was going to cry at the end of that discussion. He's like, I don't want cake thrown at my beautiful dress. I'm like, well, you're going to get it from Goodwill. <laughs> and, 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 and you know the, 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 the biggest burn was that like the next day we went to Goodwill and I didn't even know they had wedding dresses but they had a whole section really <laughs> oh yeah. wow really yeah but I, I could get some deals there right did Kelly say yes to the dress 
<sighs> she she didn't even say yes to are the. We, are you know. you, we gonna have to edit that out? Can we can we use that? Is that copywritten? I yeah, don't know. Yes, we'll we'll have our lawyers it. battle it out. It'll be fine. <laughs> But yeah. no, she did not say yes to the dress. No. I, I honestly don't know. We're so in this. Uh, but we went to the cave, um, Cave of Mounds in Wisconsin. Okay. She found this cool, really cool ambient. Uh, it's like, I thought it was like a mile underground. It's only like fucking two blocks underground. And it's really, really, really cool. It's like untouched. And that's where the ceremony and reception will be? Or just yeah. the ceremony? Or Yeah. Well, well, you know what's fucking ridiculous? The reception in there would be awesome. Oh yeah, no no really no! Cool there there isn't room for that. There there. No, see small. see th- the impression that I got is that the the people who run it are really really fucking stupid and desperate for money. Sound Polish? So yeah, <laughs> man. No, sorry. But, <laughs> no. <laughs> Was that racist? <laughs> oh <Dude>. yeah. <laughs> All right, Bill. No, I need a referral for twenty three of me, That's so right. I can start <laughs> being racist against you. <laughs> but anyways, um. They uh no it, it, they're just really fucking uh, they they look like they're desperate for money because the, the the whole cave there's like a tour and an elevator and you're and, and honestly the so they they're like this is the large room and this is the cathedral room and I'm like well what's the fucking difference and they said well the cathedral room can only fit forty people and the large room can fit up to like seventy you know what the large room is it's a path along the tour. So there's just, they're like, it's going to be an extra three grand if you want this whole place completely reserved. I'm like, well, what do I do if I want to save money? Oh, there's just going to be people walking through your ceremony, you know. I'm like, well, I guess that's fine. But the the, the the large room is literally, you know, like when you go to Brookfield Zoo, like the like the gorilla or penguin area where it's just like a path? There's literally just a path. So there's, it's it's, you know, like three feet wide. Which I have some fat friends that won't fit in that, you know. Sure. <laughs> but any, anyways, I'm working on it. All right, man. I'm sorry, but uh, anyways, I, f- I figure fat shaming will equalize the racism. You know? That's right. No, but <laughs> any, anyways, See, we balance what, each other. What yeah. calculator are you using? Yin and Yang. Oh, I got, well, I got like I got this app, you know. No, but uh, which <laughs> one's the black one? <laughs> so it's not like. A room. It's just like a wide walkway the, the, that you the can fit people. The, the large one is, but then we went to the cathedral room, air quotes, and it's it seems like it's bigger and it's actually a fucking room and not a walkway. And there's actually like a really cool. I forgot what they're called. The stethic lights, stalagmites, stalag- stalactites. One of them faces up. One of them face, uh, like goes down. Stalactites yeah. are tight to the ceiling. Yeah, stalagmites that- are on the ground. Yeah, there's nothing clever for no, stalactites. No. <laughs> well, right. well, they, they might be lower than the stalactites. Right. I like tight to the ceiling. That's well, well, there, there's. I feel like you could use that to either one of those. It would be tight to the floor, right? Or it's mighty strong. Mighty on strong ceiling. on the ceiling. Now I'm confused. I don't yeah, know. All right, fuck them. I'm not a caves spelunker. are stupid. Anyway, the cathedral room. Yeah, the cath- stalactite. I'm. S- <laughs> that, that, ju- that just brought up this joke. I heard like uh, the. That that bitch was so fat. She had such a tight thong. I thought she was shooting heroin. <laughs> Cause oh. she, what? Because <laughs> she's cutting off her circulation. Mm. No, but and anyways, uh, I I don't know where I heard that. But yeah, anyway, I'd be curious. Any uh, no, anyways, did you hear that? <laughs> it was in one of my dreams. Oh sure. After playing Mafia Three, you know, you just get these uh, random, random fucking quotes in your head. <laughs> Un- un- unconscious thinking. It, right. w- it wasn't me, man. It wasn't me. Right. No, but a- a- anyways. Um. So so the the cathedral room is pretty because fo- like the stalagmites or stalact like they actually form kind of like a podium, and then like there's like an actual like space for people to stand around and face it. So I don't know. That was kind of. But um. Yeah. That so that's gonna be really cool. But when she asked me like what my idea was, have you heard about this Methodist camp in Desplaines? Cause, so I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I'm so curious. Yeah. About this. Wait, is that the one over by the high school? I don't or know. No, that's not Des Plaines. It's by it's by the lowest part of. Uh, <laughs> is the, it in the, the sea- forest preserve? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. So, cause I'm, cause I'm okay. So my friend kind of fucking knocked some sense into me and said, you know, this is a wedding, so it's kind of supposed to all be for her. That's how it's supposed to be, and I would like it that way to be. I'm not. Gonna be some super fucking man, you know, 
men's rights. This is my wedding. No, but fucking like, like no, I'm like, th- I should make this for her. But I was thinking. I knew there was a butt coming in here. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's all but, about but her no, butt. <laughs> no, but I'm thinking about like, how, where can we have an awesome fucking reception? And what I'm thinking is, so this Methodist, Methodist camp. camp do, yeah. do, so, so there's this Methodist camp in Des <laughs> Where, so when I think of like awesome reception, I, th- I don't, don't think of well, Methodist. Okay, okay. Camp so, so hear me out. Like this place. Wait, did this come to you in a dream as well? <laughs> Are we in a dream right now? This is how cults start. <laughs> well, no, dude. It, so th- the story that I heard was that they they started this camp in like the woods, and they're like this place. It it had some funny fucking thing on the sign where it was like this place is blessed by the holy water of Jesus Christ. You know. Okay. And the funny thing is it's at the lowest fucking sea level. So they had to like leave the fucking place in like five years because it kept flooding like 10 feet. Okay. <laughs> so so what's awesome. Didn't use the scientific Methodists, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Well, that, that holy water, we got too much of it over here. <laughs> too, too God much. damn, I am blessed while he's fucking, you know, floating. Paddling around. <laughs> yeah. But a- anyways, so when I was looking for a uh, place to live, like, you know, this townhouse, right, um, I looked at it. I'm like, oh, I-, I wonder how much these fucking shitholes cost. And they're actually 20 grand each for a whole fucking house because it's constantly flooded and molded. At I'm the like, Methodist camp? Yeah, a house there. Okay. Because there's like, I think there's like 20 houses in that um, property. Do people live there? I think only like the, 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 the cult this leader. Sounds, okay, what the fuck is this place? This sounds insane. Yeah, no, so it's there, awesome. There's like a isolated Methodist community somewhere in a forest preserve that floods all the time. People live there? Well, they're the, only the cult leader. Because <laughs> everybody else <laughs> left. Everybody le- else left the holy water. It was too much for them. No, but no, I'm, I'm serious. Um, Do it, I really want you we, to, we, to we hold should your go. reception there? No, but here's my idea: is that if we do have this whole Google Barrel American wedding shit getting thrown, dude, which she a, doesn't want, she's yeah, made that clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we do, but it, if we do, <laughs> dude, this fucking place. Can you can you imagine? You go, you get shit faced. Like on every fucking thing that you get offered, you, th- you, you people can break windows, and then after it's all done, like you you get charged for cleaning at a fucking reception. This place, you could literally go all out and have it memorable and burn the fucking place down. No, yeah. is sounds, that what Kelly wants? Sounds dangerous and illegal. I haven't talked her into it yet. Sure, <laughs> we should bring her on the podcast and hash it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wouldn't would that I'm be open to it? Wouldn't wouldn't that be badass though? Yeah, I I don't well, know. Go go get her. We'll talk about but this right no, now. No no no. Well, well you know, kind of like having a skeleton dead. I kind of looked up the <laughs> the legal, you know, sure. <laughs> aspect of this, and I guess there's no legal way to burn your own house down. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, because because it's like insurance fraud or whatever. So well, if you don't claim well, insurance, yeah, I was gonna say only if you claim it. Yeah. No. Well, well, I mean, like when we also it's arson, but. Well, when, when when we bought this place, they said like you have to have homeowners insurance, like it's legally yeah. required. I know, but if your house burns down, you have to claim insurance. They don't just like automatically do it. You have to claim. Yeah, you have to. You have to actually make a claim if you know if your car oh, gets yeah, hit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, they don't just cut you a check. Yeah, you got to be like. Uh, and then they have to find every reason. I want to, to I wanna buy another one of these and burn them down. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I mean, I I think it would be pretty bad. At, but we we should uh, we should show Zach this place. Like I, I would be interested. I, I actually would legitimately be interested in going there armed. I don't feel like going into a cult camp not no. not armed. There's one closer. I don't know if we're talking about the same one, but there's one on Talcott or Algonquin that we went to once for a school field trip. Just I remember the sign for it what, was right during your Manson unit. Like the, what? <laughs> no, there's fucking trees. Oh, the arbor. You're not talking about the arbor. No, 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 no. This was. No, do you know on? Do you know Dempster and what the fuck is it? Not D. Potter. Yeah, Dempster and Potter. There's a huge sign like Methodist Camp this way. I think that's, that's okay. what I'm talking about. So I'm thinking of something else, but okay. it's probably just as spooky. Yeah. Well, well, well. The re- that's why it's fucking weird because it's in the like like if you could picture like. You know, Desplaines is a pretty fucking like prominent, pretty urbanized city, yeah. and then like right in the middle of these fucking woods, 
is this camp. Yeah, camp so it'd Crystal be like Lake. if there's just like a forest preserve in Chicago and then there's this fucking camp. There, there are some up north which I think are fucking weird as shit. Are, are they circle jerk camps? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> of course they well, are. Well, maybe. I don't know. But yeah. you know, in, all right. In they get, Wheaton, they got actually, flooded. there's something really weird like that. The There's the Jewel Cemetery, which is a pre-Civil War cemetery that is literally about two like house lots of just woods with this cemetery in the middle of them surrounded by neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Sounds like Belushi country. Oh, it's the weirdest fucking thing. I've been in there at night. It's surrounded by white? Very what did you say? Surrounded by what did you say? Na- like neighborhoods, like suburban neighborhoods. Oh. Just houses, and then there's just random just like woods. Like a patch with of woods. Fucking I like used... like 18, seven, or, uh, 19th century headstones. Well, I know um, when my brother was in my band, we used to break into the Methodist camp houses to just like do a photo shoot or just party there because nobody's there. It's just the fucking leader guy who owns all the properties. See, that uh, that's scary. That reminds me of the Theosophical Society and some weird shit. The it's Theosophical Society? Also in Wheaton. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's like a private plot. Of land. It's Look it up when you have an opportunity. There's some weird rumors about some shit that goes on there, but people live on there. All right, let's hear some of the rumors. We're here to entertain Zach. About Don't very like, cultish things going on there. There's been rumors about circle like jerks. pedophilia. <laughs> and like, and I really like, want to know about the circle jerks. <laughs> Phil is all about sign the up? circle jerks. <laughs> I, that, a fuck throwing cake. Let's do that at your wedding. Yeah, circle jerk. Yep. That's it. Well. Now that we've been joined in because I'm matrimony. Because se- right. I'm sexist against men, you know, they they have a trouble, you know, projecting their feelings of wanting to jag off near each other well and i'm officiating the wedding so i can bring that into a speech i could say that this ring represents not only loves bill, undying- bill don't do it don't do it <laughs> no don't or, or, don't bring up circle jerks as don't like, bring up sur- all right I, I don't know I'll, isn't I'll, it supposed to be a romantic ceremony phil yeah oh, i think man. kelly would like it yeah. as much as she likes very romantic partying at the methodist campground do as i, much do as do she I have likes. to give do i have to give like gavin goggles you know <laughs> like, oh my god uh, you bring up a good question yeah i would well I mean, do you want him to be a man or not yeah uh, but put down the nintendo me. switch put on the goggles i want him to be a us in the woods <laughs> <laughs> oh god the amount of times that i was told that do you get a, a cub scout do you get a cub scout patch that's just like a like jizz in the air for that on your little red vest yeah <laughs> Probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was never a Cub Scout or a Boy Scout. Oh, I was a Cub Scout for oh, so yeah? many years. So that you tell us. Me too, but I was told never to talk about it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Still got a limp from it, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dude, that, you know what the stupidest? Do you remember fucking having to sell popcorn? Yeah, that I ch- hated that was shit. It, that was so stupid. I was, uh, I was not down for going, d- being a fucking door-to-door salesman yeah. for this stupid organization. The Mormons got their Bibles, the ghetto kids got their candy bars, and we got our popcorn. Which one do you want? Yeah, right? Candy, hands down. Right? Or Girl Scout cookies. Ah, oh, Girl Scout right? cookies How can best. you compete I, with- No, I, I hate brownie cookies. I don't know. I don't like mint. That's just me, though. Well, they have like no, fucking Samoas, 12 man. other- Samoas, man. They Samoas. They're- Dosios. From- God. S'mores. The dosi dos are pretty good, too. I'll They're all that. fucking good. Which and actually, I, I do s'mores. like... I don't generally like mint and chocolate, but I will. Dude, I will those Thin those. Mints. Pop them in the are, freezer. Uh, oh, the There's best. dinner. Bill, have we, have we been eating right? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's okay. It's a it's a fun talking point at work. People are like, well, okay, so I'm just <laughs> like, curious. How's, oh, yeah, yeah. So, so how's your oh, yeah. scurvy doing? <laughs> yeah, no, no, so, Phil, what were you gonna say? So since I'm clearly the uh, the outsider here, how would you guys have your wedding? You wouldn't burn a house down. Wait, come on. Hang on. Can we go back to my lunch diet, okay. and then we can return to okay. the wedding? People at work are like, oh, what's today, Bill? Spaghettios or Chef Birdie spaghetti and meatballs? That's how I would have my wedding. And it's like, That's, fuck you. Uh, I'm going to Wendy's. So there. That's oh, so you are eating well. That's a, eating great, even late. So it's is great, that, or whatever is, they're marketing. Their I'm slow. sorry, Bill. No. <laughs> it was it was open late, so you can eat great, even late. They rhymed late, great, late. All right, I don't I don't mean to be offensive, and I know Bill. You told me not to drop this bomb, but every time I really I really time you say I, I don't re- mean to be offensive. It's the most offensive I really, thing that gets said on here. I, it's I. I 
I don't like SpaghettiOs. That's the offense. What? I'm sorry for anybody offended by that. I I I gotta go. Yeah. Wow. All right. I can't That's be a guest on here anymore. Yeah, I feel like this the, was. The, and, and you know what bothers me is that everybody's nuts about those fucking IKEA meatballs, and they <laughs> they just fucking <laughs> taste exactly like a bigger version of SpaghettiOs. Swedish <laughs> meatballs are the superior meatball, and yeah. I will say that being it, both it, Italian it, and Swedish, but they it, are the superior it, meatball. Yeah, I will stand let's hear twenty three. But, but, but the ones that I the ones that IKEA aren't aren't fucking. The, there's no way those are authentic. Sixty seven percent more likely to enjoy Swedish meatballs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, I've actually never eaten at IKEA. I have actually their food. Yeah, it's not Th- bad. those <laughs> those aren't authentic Swedish meatballs. Yeah, like and there's no fucking way. Good too. Are Swedish meatballs like as authentic as a dish as orange chicken is for Chinese oh, like, uh, food? I is think the way they or make Taco them, Bell no. for Mexicans. Yeah, but yeah. I, my family, my family like makes them. My ma's side, which is well, see, that, Swedish. Th- that's homemade though. Like that's yeah, good. They're amazing. That that's what I'm saying is like that IKEA shit tastes just like spaghettios. Like, I don't. So think it's good. It's really good. All right. Yeah, I like spaghettios. So yeah. you, like you and me outside. Do they have little <laughs> hot dogs cut up in a two <laughs> with the noodles and the meatballs? No. Only if it's made in USA. <laughs> Let's try it. If I could, I could picture that because hot dogs are so unhealthy to actually have a stamp that says "Made in China" on the skin. Jesus. <laughs> I was at a restaurant. And uh, one of the specials, like their lunch specials, was a barbecue rib sandwich. But they had the rib in quotes. That's not good. It was a barbecue <laughs> rib sandwich. That's, that's like uh, there, there is that's a, where uh, my dad's going. If you know, talking about <laughs> ribs. <God>. Oh. <laughs> uh, so there, for, for those who aren't loyal listeners, uh, a topic of discussion a few episodes past was the the demise of Phil's father and the treatment of the corpse. Yeah. Which uh, I think is what you're referring to now. Which uh, didn't yeah. involve uh, bone bleaching, yeah, or yeah. something, yeah, similar. Yeah. So, but the meat. So we'll keep the bones, but the meat are going to barbecue rib yes, sandwiches. Yes, yes. And for those listening, I'm doing the the finger Air quotes. quotes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the uh, that reminds for those me listening, of a truck you the that finger. I see occasionally in my neighborhood. There is a uh, there is a company that I've noticed that that supplies food mostly to the like local markets there that the company is called food okay but it's spelled f u d oh fud but it's pronounced food it's supposed to be food and that doesn't bother anybody that they could yeah. that, like i wonder if that was a legal challenge there's probably already food incorporated yeah so uh, that the fud network yeah that's right <laughs> that's my favorite channel Go fud yourself. Uh, not to be offensive. Not to be, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Fud heads? That's... Fud heads. I like that word. I like that company. Can I invest? Fud heads? So I, I'm sure you like can. A, it sounds I, like I'm a jam sure funk band. traded. Yeah. Let me, see, let me see if you can invest in... in uh, you just fun. love looking things up on your phone, Mr. This is what we were talking about earlier. Technology. Technology, man. <laughs> you're, you're grounded, Gavin. You're grounded, man. That's right. Speaking, oh, oh so speaking of like kid problems, man. Did, like fucking. So I want to know, like, so no. First of all, because we got off top. Right. How, how would you have your wedding? You wouldn't burn a house down. No. What, so you do the whole forty grand no, rent out I suits. Yeah, I everybody. Do that either. What, what What would you guys do? I, 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 I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not asking like con- confrontationally. I'm just like I don't really sure. know how to do it. The cavern actually sounded really cool, but I would I would love like a forest preserve or like an orchard or something like yeah. that. Yeah, kind of like the ending to Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. That <sighs> was on <laughs> when we were in Milwaukee, <laughs> sort of, I guess. Yeah. Dude, I fucking yeah, that was that's that right. came we were, on. We were watching that, and I thought of you, dude. I love that movie, man. I fucking lo- <laughs> is it because the accents are so good? Oh, the best. <laughs> no, no, I love that movie because um, back in the nineties, mm. well, I, I fucking no, dude. I only, I only. <laughs> is that, is back that how in people the, talked in the nineties? That's how. That's back how, in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> <just> speaking <laughs> of bad accents, right? <laughs> that's just your back in the nineties, dude. <laughs> don't have a cow, man. No, um, totally. But uh, radical. No, back. In Say the, what? No, back in the nineties, like I, I, my, no, I was really poor, so we, like, my mom would buy me like one fucking movie, maybe every three years, and, and like I had that one movie for like Wait. my whole child. 
you were so impoverished that your mother would buy you like one DVD to last or a VHS. VHS. Yeah, I was gonna VHS. say that. DVDs VHS were too expensive, days. man. VHS, and she's like, "Here for three years, you watch this." Well, yeah, it was that or fucking what, Re- like Blockbuster, Public Access TV, Public Access TV, yeah, more like Circle Which- Jerks. Circle jerks, yeah. yeah well, oh I no, said no, public you, access TV. Oh, right. <laughs> Speaking of circle jerks and VHSs, no, I no, my mom had a Cindy Crawford uh, workout video, and that's mm. when I first learned how to jag off. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, ma. I understand. Shout out. I understand <laughs> yeah, right. a lot more about you just from right? that. Yeah, but were you multitasking? What? It, no, uh, let me think. I well, no, I I was too poor to have two TVs with Robin Hood on one side and Cindy Crawford on the other. So just one track mind. One track, yeah. Just Cindy all the time. Uh, you can see the generational differences, right? Yeah. yeah. We've come so far. But uh, so so how would you have like your, what, like, what about Bill? How would you like orchard, forest, cave? <laughs> 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 Banquet hall. <laughs> City yeah. hall. Yeah, I hate to be the weirdo. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't, I honestly don't think about it at all. Banquet hall, get out of here. Nah, dude, I don't, I'm not like a cart before the horse That's person. so weird. You're what? so, fu- a banquet hall. Fuck you. <laughs> so no, I don't like to think about what is my wedding going to be like yeah. when well, I, you know, I you don't have a fiance and yeah. I don't have a girlfriend, yeah, yeah. you know, so it's not like when I get married, it's like, no, well, it's very well, presumptuous. Well, well, one of my biggest, uh, my biggest personality qualities is being clueless. So that's why I ask these questions, but. And one of mine is <laughs> being presumptuous. Right, and I'm just handsome. Okay. Okay. So, what was sixty percent chance of being handsome That's right. and telling <laughs> people you are fifty percent more <laughs> likely to be very handsome? <laughs> Thanks, Twenty Three and Me, right. sponsored by Twenty Three and Me. This <laughs> episode. <laughs> That's exactly right. I want, I want so a list of all of not the to be offensive. They tell people, like uh, they have to have a list somewhere of all the different like specific statistics because like. 63% more likely to be a lifeguard is awful specific. It's fucking stupid is what it is. Like, <laughs> I agree, but I would love to see that list. Right. And the, I want that guy's job. The official DNA testing service of Michael Jordan, 23andMe. That's... All right, sorry. So is, um, I, I get Actually, it. I'm offended by 23andMe for a different reason, because isn't it 23 cr- chromosomes, right? Yeah, I think so. Well, wh- where do Why the mentally challenged like me go to? Well, there's a sister come. All right, no, nope, not gonna. Not gonna. <laughs> get <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I want you to go there. This is a safe place. I don't think it's. I'm. I'm about to set it on fire, so it isn't too safe. I'll right. tell you what. Yeah, that's right. You're burning it down <laughs> for the insurance. Just wait. So the way we do it in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, we're back in the nineties. Well, <laughs> well, no. The other, the other question I was going to ask about advice is. Yeah. Uh, speaking of dangerous, you know, giving Gavin goggles and circle jerks. <laughs> sure. No, no, but no. Um, <laughs> no, like when when is it? So because I was listening to a podcast with Terrence McKenna and how like he's people, not alive, is he? Uh, there was there was a him and his brother. There's Terrence McKenna and somebody else. I forgot the other name. Something McKenna. Yeah, yeah, but no, no. What his brother is alive, and they were pretty much in the same field and in the same area of study. So there were psychonauts. Yeah, and and they uh um, he, he was talking about how like you know how do you, well what what I was thinking about is y- you know how the only reason why like shit like y- y- they were talking about how like the tobacco industry is completely fucking legal and it's strictly you know like money manipulated and I'm thinking like I wonder when it's gonna be okay to for example like you smoke cigarettes you mm-hmm. drink beer around your fucking kids. Is it going to be fu- l- like how weird it's going to be? Like, oh, I'm going to have a fucking joint by my kid, and then 20 years later, it's going to be legal. You know, I wonder if that's going to work weird with a child in their you know mind of like I, I don't know. I know. I feel like it'd be like would I you, would you do that? I, I think it'd be well. I don't know. Actually, I don't. I don't know because dilemma. I don't like. I personally don't want to have kids, so I don't even yeah. understand that mindset. But I know I have friends of mine who. Who smoke? They don't smoke weed in front of their yeah, kids. Yeah. But like, I have friends of mine who are parents who smoke weed. Yeah, and like, like they play with their kids 
and they're also stoned. But like, I don't know. Growing up, I watched my parents drink an awful lot, and I oh, never yeah. like was. I don't like, want your secondhand drink smoke. And kick me around, you know. It wasn't like they just they yeah. enjoy. You know, they enjoyed getting drunk, and they took care of their kids too. I'm not that uh, fucked I'm, up. I'm sure. suing you. Your your secondhand smoke is making my kids want to listen to fish. I will say. <laughs> I will say. Uh, I don't ever remember my parents smoking. I know that both of them did at at various sure. times, but. I uh, I've had friends who have been pregnant and continued to partake. I don't. Well, with, so wait, with weed? Weed. I don't know. How that, I don't think I that'd don't be good. That, I can't wait for that research to come out. I don't, I don't know if that'd be. I feel like that's not. I don't know. I don't know. That, I feel that, like it can't be. Good. I, I don't. I don't no, think there's it's no way it's good. I don't think it's good, but I think it's probably as fucked up as say, like, if you drink coffee while pregnant no. which you're not supposed to, you're still not supposed, well, you're not yeah, supposed yeah, to have yeah. like red meat there's a lot of stipulations yeah. and i feel like mankind's been okay for millennia yeah it's interesting like, because uh, like even with like drinking and smoking that's a fairly recent thing mm-hmm. although i i guess i guess mortality rates were a lot higher fairly recent what is fairly recent like like the you're not supposed to drink or you're not oh, supposed you're not. to smoke like that was oh a, yeah i yeah. think it was like yeah. the 50s that that was a, yeah. really like well that was I just finished reading A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway, and in it, the there's an expectant mother, and she's like, oh, doctor says I need to have at least two glasses of wine a day to keep my child small so the birth goes easier. And it's like, all right. So she and I love Ernest birth. Hemingway, but that wasn't a joke. <laughs> yeah, no, that's like... So she have like, Tinkerbell? Oh, no, she had miscarriage, and she died in childbirth. Oh, that's lovely. Spoiler alert. Sorry. <laughs> So, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but did the pregnancy go? Did the pregnancy <laughs> go well? Pregnancy yeah, go. the pregnancy went well. I think okay. the reason she and the child perished is because she didn't drink enough. Okay, um, she could have just gone to like some, you know. That's why the Puritans hardcore aren't punk around anymore. Sure, yeah. she was also drink. she was in Sweden or Switzerland mm-hmm. when this all happened. So, oh, well, uh, going back to that why. universal health health care. Did you hear that health? Oh, I had an accident. I, I did hear that, and you're I going in your race. I will mode, take Bill. you insulting. <laughs> no, I'm just going back to the nineties. The Swedes. And wait, you're Swedish. Yeah, I know. You stay away from us. Oh. Yeah, Irish motherfucker. Well, your fucking meatballs are garbage, according to Phil. How dare you? Your corned beef and cabbage is disgusting. Oh. That's actually not really an Irish thing. That's a poor New Yorker thing that just became associated with Irish. Because what is all of poor New Yorkers what is are Irish? Irish. Corned beef and cabbage. So it's like Irish New Yorker? It's Yeah, it's not like... It's right, not it's authentically some, Irish. I, it's some potato joke. That, that That's kind of the same thing of like uh, like Italian like having gravy, right? Having spaghetti sauce. Like they don't, they don't use spaghetti sauce in Italy too much. Don't they? I thought they just called it I gravy. Heard, I haven't. Heard no, no, that. you don't. You don't. They don't even. It's it's like an Italian American thing. Is it? Yeah. Marinara. Marinara, maybe. Just having so, like, like you. I, I heard that like most sauces are like like uh, white say, or Alfredo. I, I'm pretty sure. It's yeah, like a, I guess. Yeah, I will say my my grandmother who cooked for us like all the, like very rarely used any sort of red sauce. Yeah, and really? she was like she was like from. Uh, Italy. The huh. the way I interpreted it, like from watching this show, so is wait, like what did, what did you dip your breadsticks in? Oh, that's, oh, 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 oh! That's oh. when we did the she circle. She did found Olive Garden. Um, mm. so that's when things went downhill. Sure. <sighs> All right. Sorry, Phil. Continue. I, oh, I, don't, I don't know what I was. <laughs> I forgot what I was. Oh no, no, I was just saying that. Well, well, no. The the, the way that I interpreted it from watching that program is that just like anything that you s- would. Consider, you know, that the whole, like, most American foods are incredibly fucking unhealthy. So, like, when you compare it to, like, what's authentically Italian, is it's usually, like, very, le- like, more minimal. Like, there's less sauce. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, much yeah. smaller dish. Yeah, like, one of the one of the big dishes that she used to make that I love and the recipe is lost because she, they, she never writes any, wrote anything down was a, uh, like, breaded sardine pasta, which was, like, very, very simple. That's the other and thing. Like, There's a shitload of seafood in a lot yeah, more Italian. Yeah, because they're a, Medi- they're a peninsula. They're a Mediterranean, mm-hmm. you know, country. Mm-hmm. So majority of it is seafood. Yeah. And like then, like when I go to a restaurant, I'll, you know when they give you, um uh, like, basil leaf, tomato, and uh, fresh mozzarella? Yeah. So, like, caprese? Yeah. Yes. Or, like, margarita? Yeah. Like, when I see that, I'm like, that's totally, probably Italian, because it's very... L- like authentic Italian, because it's very like a small type dish. Uh, bruschetta so, is so what like you're looking for. Spaghettios, 
like yeah, just like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually very yes. The the IKEA original Swedish Italian Mishball. food is very similar to yeah. SpaghettiOs. It's so at IKEA they serve authentic Italian cuisine, right? Yes, is, yes. The Swedish is with a two T's instead of a D. It's actually <laughs> yes. it is a grand conspiracy. <laughs> uh, IKEA is actually an Italian company. Oh man, right? Like sweetest day, like get some sweetest meatballs. Do you and Kelly celebrate Sweetest Day? I no, I don't even know if if I, I think I knew it's the definition of Sweetest Day once in my life. <laughs> there used to be a festival in uh, Winfield for Sweetest Day that was like in the parking lot across <laughs> from. <laughs> oh, it sounds nice. <laughs> so oh, it was horrifying. Yeah, campground. Can there be a Sourest Day where you just like send shitty texts to your exes? Mm-hmm. I get on board. You're with that. still fat. You're still a completely misogynist. Only if it takes you place never in the parking sexy. lot. <laughs> yeah, sour. You stick. still eat at IKEA and think it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> God, I like this. I think we're covering a lot of ground here. We're, yeah, yeah, we, we're embracing. You definitely haven't burned any bridges. Not at all. Certainly not. Maybe a house in the future, if there is a wedding involved. But yeah. So so no, I I agree. Like you could be fucked up. Around your kids, but uh, as far as like doing it in front, I don't know. I think that'll be really cool. I don't like like fucked up. Like, I think you could drink around your kids. Yeah, yeah, not abuse. Yeah, but it. like, like, yeah, if you're like wasted, I have a, <laughs> I do have a, I take a little bit of issue with like being sure. hammered around your children. Well, I think it depends on the age of the kid. Can I bomb this one? You like sure if can? they're like if they're one, you could probably pass the joint, right? But yeah, or I don't know. I mean, you could probably have like some kind of bowl in that pacifier type split. Yeah. Do you have matches? Those matches suck, by the way. Work with me. They no, they they like rarely. It's hit and miss if they light. It's but because uh, they're home life matches, you yeah, should have gotten. The free matches I get from cigar shops are better than home life. That's how sad it is. I like those little match books where you can just like pull them. Yeah. Light. Mm. Or like you fold the back over? Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know why. There's some sort of, like, it makes a pop noise. It's just very satisfying to me. I like the strike on the box matches. Like the thing with the... The dots. Know. You know, I used to... God, I was such a piece of shit growing up. Uh, one of my favorite growing things to up. do... Growing <laughs> up. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. He's still growing up. Can we talk Was about it? what a piece of shit you are? Wait, I, I want to hear can, one of his not, certainly. Yeah. <laughs> one of his no. favorite things <laughs> was getting strike anywhere matches and lighting them off of the zipper of my pants. <laughs> I always thought that was cool that and I got a zippo that and works? figured out how to flick it and light it on my, you know, on my thigh. God, such a Dude, piece that, of shit. Dude, that was uh, so hard for me to learn the zippo thing cuz I'd always uh hit the flint backwards so it just crack the fucking <laughs> zippo. <laughs> yeah, it 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 took uh, a lot of skill and practice. Yeah. I had a lot of time that with the very little friends that I had. I think oh. I think I had a picture of me trying to light my cigar w- while holding the Zippo in in my left foot, and then the cigar in my right foot, and like trying to do like a yoga pose. It looked really bizarre. I you uh, there's a photo of this somewhere. Yeah, yeah it was like I want to see that. It was, it was like three. It was that three birthdays ago when I wanted the roast, and it was the best roast because nobody showed up. Uh. No. That wasn't three birthdays ago. Wasn't that just wasn't like that last, last year? year? Oh, it was last year. See how shitty my memory is. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're trying to repress it. I where are you it. getting these facts? <laughs> where are you getting? Th- Where's this research? Yeah. Who did it? Cite your sources. Well, well, speaking of forgetting shit, um, I was thinking about this because, you know, I, I I was talking about how like, well, so so once again, being Taoist and everything, I always look at the good and bad of things, and I was thinking, I was thinking about like. You know, I'm joking ab- about my dad being a skeleton this whole fucking time. Sure, joking. Yeah, jo- yeah. well, okay, I, I was half serious. But the seriousness made me laugh, maniacally. Sure. It's like, it's alive, that type of laugh, you know. <laughs> but anyways, um, <laughs> I was thinking, you know, like, because he, so he, he's, he's, he's suffering from, like, dementia where they were saying that he forgets everything every five minutes. I'm like, the good side of that is that... Always looking on the bright side, Phil. I really yeah. like that. About re- you. Re- really, because when you think about it, like, dude, can you imagine like how many like chicks you can go out with and forget their names and shit like or every five minutes? Reruns. I mean, 
and, and anything like having an argument be, like somebody's mad at you wait we're friends right five minutes later no i'm not talking to you for two days all right tell me in two days you know like there'd be a lot of benefits you know forgetting everything every five for, minutes for other people <laughs> You'd you'd be forgetting like like if you had to have like a one of those collect cards where you call overseas. Are we talking about the benefits of dementia? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you ruined it for me. I was trying to look on the bright side, and yeah, you're and you guys being are fucking optimistic. you guys are bummers, man. The way, that's what we'd call them in the nineties. You're not tubular. Uh, you're not tubular. That's you're wiggity not, wiggity. You guys whack. are a bummer. Well, you shoot. I miss the 90s. Also, I think it's time for a quick break. Is it? Well, I have to pee. So can it okay. please be time for a quick break? <laughs> no, you have to sit here. Oh. Hold it. <laughs> you are an asshole, Sandry. Got it. Oh. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> 